I'm totally afraid. I'm afraid of everything. I'm afraid of losing. I'm afraid of being humiliated. But I'm totally confident. The closer I get to the ring, the more confident I get. The closer, I'm more confident. The new definition of confidence. Confidence is the willingness to try. My confidence comes from both my faith and in the fact that I keep promises I make to myself. Feel com Borrow confidence from the past. Confidence. 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 McCombs, welcome to our webinar. Um, we'll give everybody a couple, um, maybe one more minute. Um, I see individuals streaming in, uh, connecting. So give everybody one more minute and then we'll get things started. Thank you for joining. Well, yeah, while we uh, take a, a minute or so to get started, uh, we have a chat function for the webinar, so feel free to use it as you see fit uh, to ask questions. Uh, but I was curious, where is everybody tuning in from? Um, where are you at right now? And you can type it all in. Austin, Austin Dallas, Memphis. Oh, wow, look at that. Holy cow, guys, that's awesome. All over the world. And my husband is from Wisconsin, Go Badgers. You know, I see some East Coast folks. I'm from Philadelphia originally. So, uh, by the way, I'm Dave, I'm Dave Jackson. I am the MBA admissions officer for the Dallas Fort Worth program. So, I work with Rodrigo on the MBA admissions team um, for Texas Macombs. And both of us have something in common. We both graduated from Texas Macombs with our MBAs. Yep, and we're really excited that uh, you guys are joining today. Um, uh, Dave is going to be monitoring our chat. He's also going to be um, helping with the Q and A uh, and sharing a little bit of his story uh, and why an MBA through um, the the webinar. Now. Um, we'll go ahead and and get started. So thank you for joining, wherever you are in the world. It, we really appreciate. Um, your time and hope um, that you'll find this session really valuable. Uh, this uh, particular webinar, we're going to be touching on the value of an MBA. Um, again, my name is Rodrigo Malta. I'm the Managing Director of MBA Admissions, Recruitment Admissions here at McCombs. And I'm joined by my colleague, Jake Jackson, um, who is in Dallas. I'm in Austin. Um, um, so we, we have part of Texas uh, covered. Um, but excited you all are joining. Um, so for the agenda today, um, we're going to be covering kind of the value on MBA or why an MBA, uh, talking at a high level about graduate business education, degree types and options that you have, why an MBA and why now in particular. A uh, few tip, tips um, on narrowing down your options as you're kind of uh, looking at the future and looking for personal and professional development opportunities. Uh, we'll share what Texas Macombs has to offer as far as MBA journeys go. Uh, very high level touch on application requirements. And then we'll do a little bit of Q&A if time allows. Um, we'll probably be going uh, 45 minutes or so with the session uh, to give you maybe 15 minutes uh, back in the hour uh, for those of you that this is lunchtime. Maybe get a bite to eat before heading back to Zoom meetings. So um, I like to uh, get us started and to set the stage. We are the University of Texas at Austin. Um, we are the Macomb School of Business, and our motto here at UT Austin is what starts here changes the world. And we take our motto very seriously. So we use research to create knowledge, and we do tackle the world's biggest problems. Uh, we are one of the most pre prestigious higher ed institutions in the world. And here you can dream big. So I often like to share that we don't only produce actors, we have Oscar winners, right? We have Renee Zellweger, we have Matthew McConaughey. We not only have politicians, but we have um, uh, leaders in politics. So we have governors, senators, presidents. So we have Barbara Jordan, um, we have LBJ. Um, and we not only have business leaders, we have CEOs and folks that are making a difference in the intersectionality of uh, business and society. So we have Gary Kelly as a great example of a great uh, human-centered CEO. 
um, at Southwest Airlines. So I, I preface the conversation with this because here at UT Austin and in Texas, for those of you that are in Texas, you understand this, that we dream big. So um, as you explore options for your personal and professional development, I challenge you to dream big, be audacious. Um, I, I do truly feel that you could do anything with uh, an MBA from the University um, of Texas at Austin. So um, to dive into a little bit about the value of the, the MBA and uh, in order to talk an MBA, I want to take a step back and talk about graduate business um, education. Uh, so uh, some, of you, some of you may be aware of the educational options and paths with graduate business education, but I wanted to give you a little bit of a background. Um, so the important thing here is to note that there are educational options to meet where you are me you where you are so there's a specialized deg degree path so when we talk about a specialized uh, degree path uh, these would be a, a, a master's in finance for example or a master's in marketing so this is a, a degree path that provides you with deep, deep expertise in a particular area so it's very similar to what you see in other subject areas like engineering uh, but in the, in the business function we generally see individuals pursuing this path uh, that are a little bit earlier in, the, in, your, in their career. For us here at Texas McCombs, the pioneer on this specialized degree path was our MPA. We have the number one accounting department uh, in the world, in the U.S. and in the world. And our MPA, uh, Master's in Public Accounting, is kind of the pioneer in this specialized master's path. So, um, and kind of moving on from there, there's also a generalist degree path. And this is where the MBA fits in. MBA is a general management degree where you learn about all facets of the business. So where in a specialized mark, uh, uh, master's degree path in business or otherwise, you're going to be narrow and narrow and getting deeper and deeper expertise in a particular area. Uh, the MBA program really opens the horizons and gives you a lot of opportunity and visibility into different business uh, functional areas and different industries. Uh, it does open a lot of doors and you can tailor it um, and, and pursue an MBA uh, wherever you are in your career. So in Macombs, for example, we have a full-time MBA path. We have a professional uh, MBA path, an executive MBA path. Uh, there are other schools that offer online MBAs, for example. So it is a generalist uh, degree path that kind of offers you a lot of um, options from an educational perspective. And then last but not least, there are non-degree options. So uh, these non-degree options, uh, they are certificate um, and executive educational programs in specific areas uh, like analytics or leadership, and they may be delivered by a university or by the business school arm of the university. But non-degree options do not, um, do not usually have an admissions component, uh, so they're open enrollment oftentimes. But the, they're a great way for you to brush up on a particular area. They're usually short length programs that are one weekend or one week. Um, oftentimes we partner um, at Texas Macombs with um, Fortune 500 companies in develop, developing specific uh, programming on non-degree options uh, for employees, uh, for example. But there are also open enrollment options where students can do that as well. So that is uh, kind of the, the graduate business education landscape. So there is a lot of choice out there. Uh, both uh, Dave Jackson and I uh, decided to pursue the MBA path. Um, our stories are quite different. Our journeys were different through the MBA program, uh, but I'm really glad that they brought us uh, together in working in, in the admissions team. So I wanted to transition in talking a little bit about um, kind of the value of the MBA. So why the MBA and why now? And at a very high level, um, I'll share with you that it's a really safe bet in these really uncertain times. Because it is a degree that is generalist in nature, it gives you different paths and options. So um, starting with the people that we bring together in the classroom. So in an MBA program, everyone is welcome because you're going to be learning the foundations of business. We attract people from a variety of backgrounds and experiences. So you don't necessarily have to have a technical background to pursue an MBA or you don't necessarily uh, have uh, to have a business background to pursue an MBA. Uh, we bring a really diverse 
class of students together to learn together as a, a community. So the first step, is, the first, I think, key differentiator in an MBA is everyone is welcome and you're going to be exposed to a variety of viewpoints. It is really kind of a live lab in the classroom, which is really exciting to see. Uh, the second piece uh, that I want to share with you is there is great diversity on career possibilities post MBAs. So you can really uh, reduce uh, kind of risk uh, from an outcomes perspective if you're able to uh, dip um, and explore different options in different functional areas and then also in different industries. So um, in you know, an MBA program, in our MBA program, we welcome those that are advancing careers in their uh, present industries and functional areas, but we also welcome those switchers that come in and want to change industries um, or functional areas um, and entrepreneurs, those that want to start their own business as well. But you are going to be given bleeding to the next point, um, cutting edge education and a great amount of soft skills development to be able to succeed on whatever path um, you choose. Um, so there's a, a strong connection um, in our school and with MBAs in general, um, kind of with, um, with business partners. Um, so our university um, has great uh, business partner, partners from a recruitment perspective and a research perspective. So we're really at that great edge of talent development, uh, talent acquisition. And it is a very, the MBA is a very practical degree um, with uh, great emphasis on leadership and soft skills development. Um, and then to uh, kind of round out the kind of why MBA and the value of an MBA, um, you do tap into a lifelong alumni network that will support you for whatever uh, path you choose. Um, speaking of uh, Texas Macomb specifically, we um, bleed burnt orange, right? So it is a tight knit group of accomplished individuals. There is um, a great power in the size um, of our uh, alumni network. We have 500, over 500,000 um, Longhorns and over 100,000 Macombs alumni. That is a huge number of accomplished accomplished business individuals that you have to be able to tap into. That vast alumni network also gives you a great safety net to try out new things and have connections um, in industries and functional areas that you may not have been comfortable in exploring before. And the last piece uh, that I wanted to uh, highlight is uh, proven ROI. So the MBA program in general has a very high satisfaction rate. Our programs in particular have, have high uh, student satisfaction rates and high completion rates because of the cohort method that we, um, we practice. Um, and uh, MBA programs have strong career outcomes as well. So uh, there is proven um, a return on investment. Um, I wanted to pause briefly here and invite my colleague, Dave Jackson, just to share a little bit about um, his personal why in MBA and given the certain times, kind of why now as well. Dave, I'll, I'll turn it over to you. Sure. Thanks, Rodrigo. Uh, so I, you know, Rodrigo and I both are um, graduates of McCombs, both got our MBAs from McCombs. Our diplomas look identical with the exception of his name on his and my name on mine. Um, but, you know, we chose different programs. Rodrigo chose the full-time program, and I chose the working professional program. And for me, it came a little bit later in my life than most people. Um, I was a uh, in my late 30s when I realized it was time for me to get my MBA, older than many people, uh, older than our average students, certainly. But what was happening in my career was I was in corporate communication, so a non-traditional, maybe non-quantitative MBA field. But what I found was my career was plateauing because I just didn't have the fundamental business training to really add value working with C-level leaders like I, like I needed to. So I started investigating MBA programs, uh, realized it was the best way for me to get those core business skills that I needed. And I ended up choosing Texas McCombs for my MBA um, through the DFW program because I was living in Dallas. Uh, it paid off for me in terms of return. I, I got all loans for the program, um, and certainly the MBA is a big investment you will make. Uh, but I paid off my loans in three years, and I got a tremendous amount of value from the program. And I tell people, 
Don't confuse return with value. Return is what you can calculate in terms of how quickly you get your money back. But value is what you learn and who you meet in the program. And the things that you take from an MBA program, you can start applying right away, not just the network, but the information you learn and the, and the people and the connections you have through the program. And you keep accruing that value over the rest of your life. So you know, it's not something you necessarily can tangibly calculate as easily as return, uh, but it's something that there is a lifelong payoff. And so one of the things that I counsel people about, and I actually wrote a blog post our McCombs Insider blog about this recently. Uh, but the MBA is one of the biggest investments you'll make in your life, but it's also one of the ones that pays off over a longer time frame than anything else. So you might only live in a house for a few years, uh, but you have an MBA for the rest of your life. It's a credential you've earned and will always be able to drive value from and return for a long period of time. So I wrote that blog post and you can look at it on our Insider blog. Not to try to convince people who don't want to get an MBA that they should, but to convince people that maybe now is the time to think about making an adjustment in yourself because it will pay off over a long time frame. And I recognize this is a time of great uncertainty and great anxiety for many people, but I want to get you to all think about just this is an important decision that you need to make rationally and consider all the facts and not just think about the uncertainty of the moment. So it, it is a very... Uh, proven investment, both in terms of monetary return and non-tangible value that you derive from it. Awesome. Thanks, Dave. I appreciate um, that insight. And that's, uh, uh, I, uh, for those of you that are tuning in, uh, Dave, I took the liberty of adding a link to your blog post um, on the chat for those that want to check it out. It is kind of a very informational uh, blog post. It has been one of our most popular blog posts, both because of its content and timing. So thanks, Dave, for sharing a little bit of the information from the blog um, live. It's certainly um, appreciated and it provides a lot of color to um, everybody's personal uh, path and why an MBA might might be a good option for their uh, future careers. So, um, I wanted to move um, to the to the next slide, which basically have a, a few tips um, on um, how to best narrow your options going forward. Um, determining the right path for you is something that only you can determine, right? We can guide you, we can answer your questions, but at the end of the day, the decision is yours. Um, so um, I would um, start with thinking about what career do you really want to pursue? And I know that is can be a little bit blue sky, uh, but explore kind of all career paths in different functional areas and industries that even um, those that you don't have expertise in, but you're curious about. So talk to folks, you know, um, we um, um, all have access to Zoom and Microsoft Teams and uh, mobile phones or landlines where you can have a conversation with individuals. And if you share with individuals that you're looking to grow in, um, and uh, continue to advance your personal and professional development, that usually opens a lot of doors for people to have conversations about their own path and their own experiences. So uh, first thing is um, kind of answer that question, what career do you want to pursue at a high level, right? You don't have to say, I want to do X at XYZ company, uh, but just at the general direction and path. So at uh, QC, you can start working on that question number two. What are the skills needed needed for that future career path and where are the skill gaps that you have? So making sure you do some self-assessment. A lot of the admissions process is self-assessment, right? And introspection on where you are right now, where you want to be, where are the skill gaps that you have? Are they technical? Um, are they soft skill gaps? Um, are... Um, um, and also um, in that exercise, it is very important for you to assess what are the transferable skills that you have that you can pivot into that new career. Um, oftentimes we tend to be our own worst critic um, and be very harsh on um, kind of the, the accomplishments that you have had and what you've learned. So that is a really nice time when you're assessing those skill gaps 
um, or soft skills gaps um, to assess what are you really good at? What are those transferable skills that you have? So talk to mentors, talk to previous supervisors and talk to individuals that are in that future industry or future functional area that you're looking to go to. Um, and then I feel like uh, the, the, the next step is to uh, explore the educational paths that best fits your goals. Um, where um, and where you are in your life right now, right? So uh, different business schools have different products um, and different experiences and journeys that you can take uh, to get your final goal. Um, so learn about what those are and decide on the educational path that best fits uh, for you. That might be a path that um, has you going to school or you're working um, and, and doing that side by side. Or it might be a path where you need to take, you know, one or two years off uh, to kind of reset where you are um, and, and go to school full time. But that it's truly uh, dependent on you and where you are right now. And, um, you know, something that I did when I was exploring MBA options was developing um, not necessarily uh, the ROI per se, but um, you're almost your own ranking that would encompass the ROI and the value of that the MBA or that path will bring. So I'm a spreadsheets person. So whenever I decided the path I wanted to take, I basically made my own little ranking with spreadsheets. So we had some uh, very kind of hard values on you know, the on the spreadsheet, but I also had um, information in there uh, about uh, program culture and program duration and um, kind of the feeling that I got when I met um, students and alumni from the different schools that I was exploring. So develop your own ranking. Oftentimes it's easy to go through a ranking publication um, and just see what the um, uh, different schools are ranked. And, you know, our MBA programs are highly ranked, no matter which publication you look at in our working professional pro programs are our top 10 in the country. Our uh, full-time MBA program is on the top 20. Um, in the country, so highly ranked programs, but develop your own ranking because that's going to be the best driver for the decision at the end of the day. So uh, with that being said, I had um, a couple slides that I wanted to share about what um, we're offering or able to offer you from an MBA perspective at Texas McCombs. Um, as Dave had mentioned, um, uh, both Dave and I have degrees, MBA degrees from the uh, University of Texas at Austin Macomb School of Business, and our degrees look exactly the same, but for our names. We also had several faculty members in common. So um, even though um, you're going to be being taught by the same great faculty and have the same kind of degree, um, the journeys that we took um, to get the MBA were very different. As Dave shared, I went the full-time route and the full-time MBA program that we have is a more immersive experience because you're going to school full-time, right? You're quitting your job. So it's daytime classes, going to school full-time. Uh, Dave went through our Dallas program. It's a professional MBA program. Um, and you are going to school while you're working. So that, uh, that journey is different, but the academic rigor and the academic quality is the same. We also have uh, an executive MBA program off, uh, um, uh, offer um, that is here in Austin. So the, the table there does a nice side-by-side -side comparison of the, the program paths that we have. Uh, the full-time MBA, again, I've already covered and it's pretty common. We have an evening MBA program here in Austin that's Monday and Tuesday evenings. It is two and a half years um, here in Austin. Uh, we have weekend programs, uh, professional MBA programs in Houston and Dallas. So those are on, on alternating weekends, uh, Friday evenings and Saturdays. Um, th that is, those two are two-year programs, as is the full-time MBA program. And we have an executive MBA program in Austin. Um, it is on alternating weekends, but the format is a little bit different than the weekend programs in Dallas and Houston because it's all day Friday, all day Saturday, um, 8 to 5. Um, the, the class profile uh, for the full-time MBA program is um, a little bit uh, younger uh, than our professional MBA programs. 
um, as you can see on the work experience perspective. Um, and then um, the executive MBA program are for more senior level managers. Um, so the average work experience uh, for our executive MBA program in Austin is about 15 years. So uh, the, the academic experience itself uh, is top notch. So um, we are a research institution. So we are in the business of creating knowledge. So we are not just um, taking um, kind of the, the research from other universities and sharing the classrooms. Our professors are uh, research experts and they're creating knowledge and disseminating it all over the world. Uh, there are also great practitioners. So they've had business experience so they can relate that research to real world applications. Um, I, I often sit on student panels and it's always amazing to hear how our working professional students, for example, uh, can learn something on the weekend, directly apply it to the work that they're doing uh, on Monday, which is really exciting. Um, I also love to hear our full-time MBA students when they apply that business law knowledge to, um, to, to solve um, or help maybe a non-for-profit organization in the communities that they're a part of here in Austin. Um, for all of our MBA programs, we have a team-based learning model. So you're going to be put into cohorts and study groups as you go through the program. You start uh, the program with the same folks that you graduate with. We have very high completion rates for our MBA programs because of this team-based learning model. Um, we bring in very diverse classes. Um, it is uh, really amazing to see all that come together in the the classroom. Uh, we have an inclusive environment at Macombs where everybody's able to raise their hand and feel like they're being heard um, and bring their own personal and professional perspective to the, uh, the, the discussion topics in the classroom. It is truly a team-based learning model because you are not going to be able to succeed the program by doing it alone. Um, we, we have amazing faculty members uh, but they will challenge you uh, both um, in what they bring to the table from a knowledge perspective, but also the volume of work that you're going to have. So you're going to be working with your team to conquer all of that with the support of our faculty and staff. Um, as I had mentioned before, um, our, you know, an MBA and our MBA uh, brings folks from a variety of personal and professional backgrounds, and we're able to do that because you have a common core experience. So no matter your background, you're going to be taking um, the, the foundational accounting, finance, marketing, operations, um, statistics courses, which um, is great because those of uh, you that have expertise in those areas um, will become um, kind of great go-to individuals for your classmates and be able to share the knowledge that you have on a particular topic. Maybe you have a CFA or a CPA um, and you help your classmates in the, the foundational uh, uh, finance and accounting courses. Um, and then from then on, we build on that foundation with more advanced topics um, in business um, in, in, in different areas, depending on which program you go into. Um, an area, a couple different areas where we really excel in. Um, one is um, the beyond the classroom. So the hands-on and experiential learning experiences that our MBA program is able to provide you. Um, these um, items that are listed on this slide are available to all of our MBA students, no matter which program uh, they are uh, pursuing. So we have micro consulting projects through our MBA plus leadership program that are available every semester uh, for our students to try something new. So the micro consulting projects are usually um, six to eight weeks. Um, they may take 10 to 15 hours in the, a week uh, of work, depending on the scope of the project. But it's really a great way uh, for you to connect with a new industry or functional area. Um, in the working professional MBA programs, for example, there are no internships. So if you're looking for that new experience, these consulting projects are a great way for you to put something new in your resume that signals a potential career switch. Um, you would apply for a consulting project like you would for a job, um, and you're selected based on your resume and your application. You can also start your own project with a company um, that you're really passionate about. If you source your own project, you pick your own team, which is really cool. Um, as part of the MBA Plus Leadership Program, we have um, a variety of 
coaches uh, that work with you on a one-on-one basis. Um, so the executive and leadership coaching, um, those 16 hours are available to you at any point in the program. We have um, very uh, kind of up-to-date industry seminars that you're able to partake in. The seminars are in person or online.
there's a difference. I want to do it and I want to be a rock star, right? Like, and that's where you influence people. Like, you know, like I want to do it, but I also want to be the most popular. And so then that person's like, oh, I want to be him. So I guess I'll be nice. Like I want to literally take people who have DNA that's kind of nice and make them more nice.